You guys, this video is already going to be probably on the longer side. So get yourself some snacks. I already got myself some mini eggs that come around when Easter is upon us. And I also got some Coca-Cola in a glass bottle because I was feeling a little fancy for this video. No, recently I've just been like really liking Coca-Cola even though that's like such a bad thing because it's like so bad for you, but it's so good. Anyways, this video isn't going to be about the snacks even though I love me some snacks. I'm going to be trying out a whole bunch of new makeup products that I've never tried before in my life. There are some new releases, products I've just never used. A lot of these products are from PR packages, so I just want to thank you to all the brands that hooked it up. I'm so excited to use these products and yeah, let's just jump right into it. Smacks. 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 <laughs> So Smashbox hooked it up and sent me like a ton of their primers and I've actually never tried Smashbox primers before so I'm really excited. I've been wanting to pick up the Smashbox primer water for the longest time but it's always been sold out on Namie's. That's where I would buy it because I have a discount code on Namie's. Hey. So you just do a few spritz on your face before you do your foundation and it's supposed to make your makeup last all day long. It's silicone free, alcohol free, and oil free. Mmm. This is another primer from Smashbox, and it's the Photo Finish Hydrating Primer. I need that moisture in my life because my skin is drier than the desert. I'm just gonna use a tiny bit around my cheek area. Ooh, that like melted into the skin so... That's eyelash glue, sorry. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation, and I'm sure you guys have seen this foundation everywhere. I hope this is the right color. I'm just gonna do a few dots because I don't want to be like too full coverage. I'm also going to be using this amazing Tarte Kabuki brush. And the shade that I'm wearing is Light Medium Honey. I want more coverage, so I'm just gonna... I thought I wanted to do natural looking coverage. Change my mind real quick. So this is a new product that Benefit Cosmetics launched and it's the Hula Quickie Contour Stick and I am so excited for this product, especially like the entire Hula line because as you guys know, the Benefit Hula Bronzer, the original one, is my absolute favorite. It was like one of the very first bronzers that I purchased. So I'm just gonna go along my temple area, under, ooh, it's like really creamy. And just a little, I typically don't contour my nose, but just for the sake of this video, let's try it out. I'm not very good at nose contour. When you're like chilling and your double chin starts to stick out, you don't want to see like a dark line of makeup right here. So make sure you're just blending it out really, really well. Actually, I feel like I want a little bit more definition. And I'm using a Luxie 610 Flat Sculpting Brush. This is really good with cream products. I don't know why I didn't use this first. Next up, we have this concealer by Tarte. And it's the Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12-Hour Wear Concealer in the shade Light Medium Honey. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of this underneath my eyes. I have really bad dark circles, oh, sadly. I'm just gonna use my finger to blend this out a little bit, just to melt the product. And the product seems, look at that, it just blended it out already. So quick and easy, wow. To set my under eye concealer, I'm gonna try out this e.l.f. under eye setting powder in the shade Sheer, and just go right underneath my eyes. Wow, that actually looks really good. So I'm really liking the powder. This is pretty awesome, especially if it's like, what, $3 or something. To set my foundation, I'm going to use this Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Golden Hour. I've used this a few times already in my videos. I actually really like it. Um, I decided to include it in this video just to kind of give you guys a little bit of a review. This was a new product. It's really nice to use as like... A light setting powder 
just to dust a little bit over your foundation to remove the tackiness. I wouldn't bake with this product. I'm literally just tapping a tiny bit as you guys can see and I'm just like dabbing that all over my foundation to set the foundation. Of course, for bronzer, we're going to be trying out the Hoola Light version. This is also a new product. I'm like, <sighs> ah, so nervous, but like excited too. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. I'm going to take this pixie blush in collaboration with Aspen Ovard. And this is in the shade Roma Rose or Rome Rose. Just read that upside down. This is a really pretty blush. Um, I have a drugstore highlight and a high-end highlight. For the drugstore one, we have the e.l.f. baked highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. And then for the high-end one, we have the Benefit Dandelion Twinkle highlighter. Also a new product that they re recently launched. I'm going to use the Benefit one first. such a natural looking highlight it just makes your skin look wet all right so this is the elf one looks like this i'm gonna flip the other brush side honestly they actually look really similar this one just needs a little bit more product it's a little bit more on the sheer side for the eyes i'm just quickly gonna run along some powder just to make sure that they're not oily or anything like that. For the eyeshadow, we're going to be trying out the Pixie eyeshadows in collaboration with It's Judy Time. If you guys already know who It's Judy's Time is, you guys know that these colors are totally her. She loves neutral, bronzy, brown shades and all that stuff. Something really natural and easy to wear every single day. I'm going to take this color right here and I'm going to put that in my crease. Oh, it's actually really pigmented. This is more of an orangey, mustardy kind of color. And I'm going to take a smaller, more dense blending brush and apply that to the outer corners of my eye. Okay, these colors are blending out really, really nice. And then I'm going to take a mixture of these darker browns right here and just pop it in my outer corner as well. And I'm going to go back in with that blending brush and just blend all of those shades together just to make sure there's no harsh lines like the usual. Alright, so this is the eyeshadow look finished. I have to say I really love the pigmentation of the eyeshadows. They blend it out really easy. And considering that this is a drugstore brand that can be found at Target, it's a really awesome, awesome purchase. I quickly had to export the footage I have onto my computer so I have more space to film on my camera. But anyways, let's just pick up from where we left off. I am trying out these Milk Makeup Eye Pigments. So I'm just going to swatch. So the bronzy shade is called Gig, which is just absolutely gorgeous. This one is called um, Hop Hotel Lobby. Also a beautiful champagne -y white bronze shade oh, so beautiful oh my goodness it's literally liquid gold like it's beautiful to blend out this pigment a little bit better i'm gonna take a pencil brush and the dark brown eyeshadow and try to blend this in as best as i can For the inner corner highlight, I'm going to take the lightest shade in the palette and just apply that What I just said, the inner corners. I thought this shade would be a little bit more of a pigmented eyeshadow, but it's not. Took a little bit to my brow bone. This is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. This has been sitting in my drawer for the longest time. Alright, so as you guys can see, there is quite a difference. Um, this is one coat of mascara. It's a good mascara, but I still feel like my roller lash is better. It separates a lot better and it doesn't get as clumpy as this one. But I can already tell this mascara would be great for someone that has shorter lashes because it, it makes your actual lashes look 
thicker. Siri, I wasn't talking okay. to you. Give me a moment. Okay, I found something on the web for Mix Your Actual Lashes Look Thicker. Take a look. Siri, bye. It's been a pleasure. I love my Siri girl. Alright, so this is how my lashes look with one coat and I am satisfied. They look pretty good actually. I'm going to quickly add a little bit to my lower lashes as well. I have two new lip products from Lipland Cosmetics and I've never tried Lipland Cosmetics before so I'm really excited to see what the formula is like. This liquid lipstick is called Provocateur. It smells like cake. It's really sweet, so for some of you, you guys might not like this. Ding! That is pigmented. Okay, I have to clean up this crazy mess right now because this application is so bad. Um, let me just quickly grab a brush and some concealer to clean up this mess. Alright, so this is as good as it's gonna get. It's still not perfect. I should have used a lip liner, but uh, that's okay. This lip color is really popping. Like, honestly, this kind of reminds me of a like a holiday makeup look. Something you would wear around the fall time. Now I'm gonna go in with the second color, which is called 50-50. Oh yeah. Heck yeah. It's like a cool toned pink. Yes, like a cool toned gray pink. This color is so beautiful. I already know I'm going to be wearing this a lot. I love nude lipsticks so much and it's all I want to wear. I had such a fun time filming this video. I am definitely going to be doing it again. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup look. It's definitely something more natural and wearable for those of you that prefer that, obviously. And today, I just wasn't feeling like the full-on glam. I just wanted something simple, just enough for me to test out these products just to see if they actually work. Anyways, thanks for sticking around and watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below what you guys think. I love you. Be blessed, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah. I need me.